Welcome back to Homeworld. We're getting ready to hyperspace out to another mission, and I just wanted to make a couple quick adjustments to our situation before we leave. First, uh, these multi-gun corvettes that we built uh, in the previous mission aren't really needed for the upcoming mission. Just aren't really needed. Uh, they specialize in taking down strike craft, missile destroyers, right? You'll see. You'll see why we don't need them. So I'm going to actually retire them. All right, that's it. Retirement confirmed. Group the other thing reporting. is I just wanted to kind of talk about Group one standing by. these attack bombers real quick. So the reason I built so many is because there's a I don't even know I wish I knew the name of the phenomenon there's, there's a there's a principle that applies in combat with large numbers of you know large numbers of soldiers large numbers of tanks large numbers of whatever it happens to be large numbers of units like this the more you're hitting the enemy with the quicker you achieve your goal you've more quickly stopped the damage that you're taking from them. So let's just say that I built half as many instead of 55, you know, let's just say about 25 or something like that. Now, is that enough to actually succeed in attacking the ghost ship and turning off the influence that it has? Yes, it would work, but it would take twice as long. And in that time, I would receive twice as much damage from the existing enemy forces while I'm attacking the ghost ship, which means that I would have lost twice as many ships as I did in addition to have, starting with half as many as I did, right? So you can see the equation here. You're, you're kind of like you're increasing your losses while decreasing your effectiveness at the same time. So the more that you hit it with uh, quickly, the more effective you are. And they've served their purpose Ready. as well. I don't need these guys, so I'm going to retire call. them too. Bring her in. Now, with that out of the way, it's time to hyperspace that on to the it. next mission. We are about to enter the outer limits of the Tidan Empire. As we approach the galactic core, resistance is expected to increase. We have identified a weak point in the enemy defenses. There is a remote research station located near an active supernova. It should only have a minor garrison protecting it. <laughs> That's funny. Supernova Research Station. We have cleared the outer rim dust bank. Okay, so that is an assault frigate. So this is not as big as the mothership, but still pretty big. The research station is located here. Assemble a heavy strike force and destroy it. All right. The supernova is 215 light years away. It is emitting intense radiation. Strike craft are especially vulnerable to this radiation. 
capital ships will be the most effective due to their heavy armor. Research Division reports it is now equipped for proximity sensor technology. We advise commencing research immediately. Radiation is much heavier than we expected. Sensors indicate that these veins of space dust may have shielding properties. We recommend using the veins for protection. All right, let's do that. Um, first thing I need to do is I need to order my outermost ships Ready. to come back in Moving to destination. because they're actually already taking damage from the radiation. Not good, guys. That's a bad place to line up. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I have some... Yes, I do. I have some repair Copy. Corvettes. That should be handy for Repairs initiated. repairing. The enemy is using mines. Research division reports it can produce a Corvette-class mine-laying ship. We advise commencing research immediately. All right. Mine-laying tech for a mine-layer Corvette. Mines are actually very well implemented in this game. I'm surprised. Uh, it's one of the few RTS games I've seen where it, it, they do mines in a way that's convenient for the person laying the mines. I'll show you. I'll show you what it looks like at some point in this mission. All right. So um, let's get that missile destroyer built. Because you're only allowed to build them if you have less than two. And I have one. So this is the only time I'll probably ever get to build one. You'll notice that I have quite a lot more frigates than I'm allowed because of all the frigates that I got awarded in the last mission. So let's take a quick peek at the situation on the map. You see these streaks of dust clouds here. These are the safe corridors to travel in. And they are not perfectly horizontal, which means that you have to adjust your uh, z-axis. You have to adjust vertically, basically, in order to travel through them. It can be challenging, uh, especially if you're interested in harvesting, like over here, there's a bunch of resources. Uh, but the remastered edition of Homeworld has really, really messed up uh, one aspect of their game in the sense that at the end of every mission, you're given all the unharvested resources for free from the previous, you know, from that mission. And like, if you notice, I've got 50,000 resources. So I don't have to go harvesting at all because I have a backlog of resources. And what this mission will do when I'm done with it is it will give me all of these resources. <laughs> I don't have to harvest anything anymore. It's pretty crazy. And, you know, if you, as long as you just maintain your backlog like that, you, you'll never have to harvest probably again for the rest Research of the game, which complete. is what I mean by them ruining the game. You know, they've ruined that aspect of the game by giving you the resources for free, even though it was Ready. with good intentions. Um, it, to uh, it had un unforeseen consequences. I don't know why Standing they didn't by. test this. They didn't test this out and, and come to that conclusion On themselves. It's kind of strange. There's my missile destroyer. That's nice. Ready. Send that in with uh, these guys. Now I want to build a On mine layer way. Corvette, if only to show you how it works, because they are very cool. Way. They're very very cool. And these are actually really neat in multiplayer. Like you can play Homeworld multiplayer. Um, I, I used to do it <laughs> back in like 1999. You know that was fun. Mine layer Corvette. Ready. Let's take. Uh, let's go down here. Locked in. Show you where it's safe. I don't want to do it near my mothership because I'm going to be capturing ships and bringing them in, and the mines will attack the ships that you're capturing before they're captured, which is very bad.
the square formation or the wall formation rather is really nice for this map because the dust cloud corridors that you can see here are the only safe place if you stray outside then you're going to take on a lot of damage and get yourself killed and you don't want that right so if you had like a formation that is not tightly packed they they and you have a lot of ships they could easily um pop out of the dust cloud now here's what here's Roger. what this guy looks like look at this mine layer corvette check it out so that's what they look like it looks like a standard corvette except it has these mine pods on the side that and they release mines out the back so let me show you how you deploy mines it's very easy it's this is what makes them wonderful Copy. If you say, um, let's see, deploy mines in. So you get this interface, and it looks like this, and it's really, really easy to use. So you've got about a 600 meter tall area of mines, and it's fixed to 600 meters tall. And you can make it as wide as you want, and you can orient it however you want and what you're orienting here what you're what you're creating is you're creating what's going to be a wall of mines so you can picture this red wall here and you put it wherever you want it's very easy to see and you just click it I think you click it Location or you double click it mines. So now it's going to go off and actually drop these mines off. And this is a mine right here. You can see it. That little guy is a mine. And these will, when, when enemy ships get close, they will slowly drift towards the enemy ship and impact with it, causing tremendous damage. So this Ready. guy, is that it? No. Right, let's try that again. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I get it now. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. This is even better than I thought. It's not 600 meters. You can control the width with um, your mouse. And if you hold down shift, you can control the height. Check that out. So I'm holding down shift, and it's just to adjust the height. So if I want to make it a kilometer tall, exactly, and then... Uh, 1500 meters wide and orient it in this direction like that Location set, boom dropping mine. and it, it is a single click so that time it worked just fine and oh boy is that nice that is so nice I wish other games had mine layers implemented like this one does oh 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 and also these mines will report back to the Corvette that they've been detonated and the Corvette will automatically go back and replace them <laughs> I mean have you ever heard of such a system in an RTS game you know mine layers are usually very clunky very you know impractical but no this this you can create basically a wall or a choke point um, for uh, blocking off certain areas of space which is great and when your RTS is set in space because there's no terrain, right? So that makes it a bit more difficult. So you can see how, how quickly and easily this wall gets set up. I love these things. It's, it's just really, really nice. I wish, I wish there was more like that, but sadly there's just not enough uh, use for them in the game itself. So we are going to go off and do this mission now. Um, the objective of the mission is to destroy the station. Now, the station is over here, which is conveniently along this relatively straight dust cloud that's kind of going uh, slowly up until it gets over here and then levels off. And then, and then just as you get about here, you can actually just bridge over. And there's a little bit, you take a little bit of damage. Don't ever use Strycraft in this map, in this mission, because it's not worth it. You, they just they just get destroyed, which is ironic because the enemy uses Strycraft quite a lot. Um, you can technically go all the way to the end here and double back 
this way without getting any damage. But the problem is that there's quite a large force here. It's not a small garrison, it's a large garrison. It's quite a large force that's sitting here, and they will see you as you're passing through, and they'll just cross over and start attacking, and you might as well just engage them then. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can play this out. Um, one of the ways that you can do it is you can send ships the hard way, which is along this corridor, and then you just kind of go over here, then maybe down here, then maybe over here, or no, no, over here, then then up here, and then attack it from this end. I guess no, that doesn't work. The only other way is is honestly from here. And then you get a jump over to here, 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 and here. You can take the roundabout way if you really want to, and there won't be anything to stop you. Or if you take the direct route, what ends up happening is you encounter resistance. You'll encounter mines. You'll encounter <laughs> big, big ships right about here. So you'll be seeing that shortly. So I'm going to take the direct route because I've, I'm confident I'll be able to do it. But there's a, there's a technique to be done. So we're going to take uh, all of all of our heavy ships, our heaviest ships, which is Group, group seven. 7. Let me just make sure that all of Group 7 is here and that nothing is here that's not in Group 7. I think I have to add this Standing one. By. Group 7 reinforced. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, no, I got seven ships in group seven. That's the Magnificent Seven. How about that? All right. So what we're going to want to do is Five bring cars. our salvage Strike corvettes and our copies. support frigates along with us for this journey. Group seven copies. Course set. Oh, there's another thing that we really, really need to work on is building. If you recall, we had the research uh, proximity sensor. We haven't done that yet because it told us it started the mission that we could research proximity sensors. These are basically probes that can also reveal cloaked ships and they can move multiple times. They don't just uh, move once and that's it like probes do. A bit more expensive, but it's worth it. So Resource collector awaiting instructions. We got gravity well generators. Where are those? Research complete. Here we go. Now, according to this, underway. construction underway. Doesn't say, does it? I'm pretty sure you can only build three. Because if you could build a lot of these, it'd be very, very overpowered. Gravity well generators are just amazing against uh, corvettes and fighters. This is a gravity well generator. Gravels are very cool. They don't last very long. They burn themselves out once you activate them. I think it... I don't even know how much time it gives you, to be honest. It's its not much. This uh, proximity sensor... Course canceled. Um, let's see what happens when I tell it to go someplace. All right, so it deploys, and oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that the mine layer Corvette. Um, one of the peculiar traits of these mines is they are temporary. After a couple minutes, they explode on their own, and they have to be Gravity replaced. Well like generated. you see, one just disappear, and then the mine layer will Standing continuously uh, go back and forth across the wall that you set up and replace them, which is nice that it maintains it, but not so nice in the sense that they they only last so long. But if you're on the attacking side, you don't want them being permanent because that'd be a bit overpowered, wouldn't it? Copy. Roger. Course set. So you can see with the Gravoil generator that it's got these uh, spheres around it, right? I don't know what the outer one is, what that represents, but I'm pretty sure that the inner one is where the action happens, 
or rather where the action stops happening if you're a fighter. Um, and I think, I can't remember for sure, but I think it disables your own strike craft as well, which can be dangerous. Another key factor is that it does not disable them from shooting, just moving, so they can still fire at you. You got to be cautious about that. So now we're ready to move forward. I'm going to take my missile destroyers and just Copy. assign them group eight, designate. Group, eight group eight. I'm just going to sneak these forward just a little bit. And now we've got company. So you can see here we've got a group of fighters, interceptors that looks like there's maybe, I don't know, 30 or something like that. And maybe about, maybe about 20. Is it letting me actually see them on my formation? No, it's not. But yeah, this is what we've got to get past. And this is... Uh, basically telling them to attack, attack but at the same time Roger. we need this gravity active this gravel has to be active I'm guessing these are a bit more of a threat the heavy corvettes than the fighters Ready. I could just order them separately like I could order this one attack this group and that one attack that group and it's time to activate Attack coordinates locked the grav well. Destination locked in. Yes. Now these should. Fire confirmed. So if things have gone well, which I don't know if they have yet, but if if things have gone well, we will have seen uh, a big impact on the incoming strike craft. And there we go. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, one of the things we're going to want to do real fast is to bring the second one up and maybe even the third one because these things don't last very long. So, oh, here we go. I think... Now, I'm not sure which is which. We have a, a green bar and a purple bar. Is it taking fire? Is that what's happening? green bar being health and the purple bar being I don't know how long it lasts it seems really short my goodness yeah yeah that was it all right so let's let's get this one going I want to make sure both of these guys are set to attack all targets. Offensive and power to weapons. Weapon set to Well, there you go. Now, it's a really interesting thing that that you can shut it down. You can shut it down before it burns itself out. And I wonder, I wonder if I can retire it. All right, that's it. Retirement confirmed. <laughs> I might actually get my credits back or my resources back. I don't know. But anyways, you can see that we've taken care of all of those strike craft with very... Uh, well, minimal damage to the missile destroyer, which we will repair. Reporting. Repairs initiated. And the next thing to do would be to go up to the Group six copies. middle of the map here. Group seven reporting. Order confirmed. 
I can probably tell this guy to stop because uh, or this mine layer. Reporting. He doesn't have to keep on. Oops. Here we go. Let's just bring our destroyers up to here. We'll bring our salvage corvettes here. And you can see we've got enemy mine layers, which is uh, going to be an interesting challenge to get through. I don't know how much... Yeah, there is the mine layer right here. It's way over there. Well, that's um, that's going to be interesting. Let's, let's see what happens if I get a little bit close to these mines. Like how much damage do they actually do. 65,000 hit points. Ready. Acknowledged. Attack withdrawn. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh no, no, no. Group 7 One, hit by two, mine. Three, Group 7 four. hit by mine. Group 7 yeah. hit by mine. Yeah. So they, they all of a sudden, they all of a sudden started coming for me. And they're quick. I, I was thinking they'd be slower. But they're pretty quick. So let's repair, repair that damage. Sure. But we got the mine layer at least. Now, remember what I said about mines being, um, they only last so long, being temporary? I don't know, I don't know how long it is or if I should try to wait these out, but I don't think you can Roger. manually target them. I mean, you can manually target space, or you can manually target oh, well, objects that target. can't be targeted, but I don't think that works, I don't think that you can actually hit mines. Yeah, see, here's what happens when you try. The missiles just pass right through it. Roger. Attack withdrawn. Even the area of effect of the missiles themselves doesn't touch the mines. They seem impervious to weapons. Which makes them maybe a little too effective, really? Maybe a little too effective. Oh, but here you can see that one just vanished on its own. So it could be that these are just you know, delay tactics. Oops. Yep, some of these are disappearing already. Group five copies. Now we've got the usual 14 uh, salvage corvettes, and we're going to attempt to make full use of them. Groups. Right, well, there's only three left. I can I can take that. Two left. Strange, it's not coming at me. Anyways, so we're going to move on. Um, the dust cloud goes up slightly. So let's let's look at it from above and then raise it maybe this much. Maybe that's a bit too much. That looks about right. Green line confirmed. Six. Group five reporting. Docking with support frigate. I'm going to test this proximity sensor again to see if I can get a bit further sensors than um, than visual range because this dust cloud might be obscuring what's up there. All right. Oh, shit. They shot it down already. Wow. Okay. So what do we got here? We've got uh, three gigantic ships, uh, two, two destroyers and a heavy cruiser. Now we haven't seen heavy cruisers before. This is the first and they are very dangerous. If you look at it, it's got 240,000 hit points. 240,000. By comparison, Mother the mothership has 210,000 hit points. So, already, Group eight. it's tougher than a mothership. It's tougher than a mothership. And it's armed to the teeth. Because it does 3,008 damage. I think that might be across all eight of its guns. So it's got, it's got a gun here, here, here. Here, 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 and here, and here. So, yeah, that's two, four, six, eight. Uh, and these front two are beams. These are cannons, and 
they are not just ordinary cannons. They are very heavy cannons. They will knock you the hell out. Um, yeah, so that's dangerous. Very dangerous ship. And what we're going to try and do is capture it. <laughs> we're going to try to capture as much as we can, obviously. Repairs initiated. Escort copies. Group 6. Group 7 reports enemy contact. Repairs initiated. Acknowledged. Strike group coordinates locked in. Strike group coordinates locked in. Strike group coordinates locked in. Group 7 under attack. Destroyer taking heavy damage. All personnel. Code red. Strike group coordinates locked in. Supporting friendly units. Destroyer lost. Frigate under attack. Okay, I've already lost a destroyer. Um, this, yeah, it's it's a bad situation. This is a lot of firepower. It really is. And you saw how fast they took that destroyer down. But what I'm going to try and do here is really unlikely to succeed simply because of the fact that they Roger. target these guys so relentlessly. Oh, I just realized I can I can pick them from here. No, I can't. I can only pick one. Never mind. So five, we'll just pick you, and then we will take um, this one, this Confirmed. one, this one, and this one, and target this destroyer, and then we'll take the other four and target this destroyer. Now, <laughs> it all depends on whether or not any of these get killed. Because if any of them kill, and they can get killed in one hit, believe me, believe me, it only takes one hit from this thing to just wipe out a salvage corvette instantly. If any of them get killed, it's over. <laughs> so far, so good. So far, so good. Group seven reports victory. So far, so good. Um, Group seven. Who's being targeted at the moment? I'm not sure, actually. I'm not sure. All personnel. Lost. Oh wow! Check that out. So they just blew up a support frigate. That's what they were targeting. Oh no! Damn. I think they just destroyed this guy. I think they just destroyed him. Yep. Alright. Well, that's it. It didn't work. You can see how delicate the operation is, right? It's So now that I've got what I've got 6 on this thing, 3 on this, 4 on this, but I need 4 on this one or else the destroyer is still active. So which means basically I'd have to destroy it with my fleet here. But just for funsies, let's see if we can make it work. I'll try it a couple of times. Group 5 reporting. Group 7 reports enemy contact. Group 5 reporting. Strike group coordinates locked in. Copy. Group 5. Repair order confirmed. Strike group moving into position. Group 7 under attack. Destroyer taking heavy damage. Hull breach. Hull breach. Destroyer lost. Supporting wow, that was quick. I mean, that was super quick. These support frigates didn't even didn't even help at all. But what they might help with 
is to give these guys something else to shoot at besides my salvage corvettes. That might be a good way to go about it. Destination locked in. Strike group reports hostile content. Yeah, see here, look. Nobody's shot at any of these yet. So let's take these four. Put them on you. Um, Group five reporting. Take ready. Oh wait, no, they killed one. Arr. Strike group coordinates locked in. Group six copies. Strike group under enemy attack. Moving to destination. Course set. Destroyer taking heavy damage. Group seven under attack. Supporting friendly units. Destroyer lost. Well, let's see what we got here. Uh, yeah, just just lost a destroyer. So let's take this Roger. one. This one, this one, and this one, and divert them to this destroyer. And then we'll take maybe this one, this Ready. one, this one, and this one, and we'll put them on this destroyer. Group five copies. All right. Um. Well, so far, so good. Uh, yeah. Well, I haven't actually got that far before. I mean, they're practically touching. What's our damage? Group 7 reports victory. Frigate lost. Yeah, so I just lost this one. And, um... Look how close they are. Look how close they are. Oh, my gosh. And you can see, yeah, you can see the 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 mega weaponry. It's just one hit is all it takes. One hit, and then these Corvettes are history. Well, well, okay. So it looks like this one is mine. It's got four. It's mine. The question is, can I get these? Onto the heavy cruiser before they're shot. Oh, well, well. He's, the heavy cruiser is still targeting my missile destroyer, which is good, because <laughs> that means he's not taking the Corvettes. And oh my gosh, okay, I've got two. I've got both of these destroyers. So the only thing I have to do at this point is attach this one. And... Oh, I got it. I got it. That was very tight timing. Very tight. But it took it took it far too many tries, but I got it. Okay, then. Group, group seven. 7, how you doing? Does group, group 6, six exist? Copies. Yes, it does. I lost one of them. Group and we're going to repair group you. Reporting. Group 7 lost... Um, one of the regular destroyers, one of the ones that I built. Let's just check to see how... Well, it says four out of six, so I can actually build two more. Let's do that now. If I do it now before these two destroyers are captured, then it'll let me build them. But if I wait till these are, dis these are captured, then I'll have six and I won't be able to build any. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the proximity sensor is good for in a map where the only safe place to be is in a dust cloud where the sensors are obscured. Although these might actu not actually finish before the capture takes place. It depends on how quick they get here. Here's the first one. Let's heat it up in 
Oh, this is going to be super tight. It might not work. It all depends on w at what point it pauses. See, it's still building a destroyer in destroyer here. Complete. Oh, it did it! Oh, that was tight. That was very, very close timing. So my new destroyer is, even though you can't see it, in theory, it's still in here. And then I'm capturing. So now it says I have six. And capturing this should make seven. We'll see. Ah, yep, there it is, seven. And so it, it comes out looking like this. That's the built one. And then it's bringing the second one in to be captured without releasing the one it just captured, maybe? Standing by. Move. Enemy destroyer captured. Enemy destroyer captured. Now it says I have eight, so let's see what that looks like. Ooh, where is it? Oh, it's bringing this in. <laughs> Are you serious? So, so we're meant to believe that somehow it's fit the heavy cruiser and two enemy destroyers all inside the mothership to be captured before letting any of them back out. That's pretty funny. Look at the size of this thing. So this is stronger than the entire mothership. Plus has kick-ass weapons. These are amazing ships. They're just simply amazing. Heavy Cruiser 1. I'm allowed 3. Well, that's interesting. So out comes one of the destroyers. Enemy destroyer captured. It called the destroyer. That's a bit misleading. Underway. Uh, yeah, so when you capture a... A heavy cruiser, it says enemy destroyer captured. Something tells me they added the heavy cruiser to the game after they were done with the voice acting. Otherwise it would have said enemy heavy cruiser captured. And here comes the heavy cruiser itself. Group 5 reporting. Strike group coordinates locked in. Strike group coordinates locked in. Moving to One idea I've got that I'd, I'd like to try is to use the mine layer corvette to um, set up a wall of mines before the next battle because what ends up happening is the enemy spots you and comes charging across the radioactive gap uh, to take you on. But I think you can set up mines in advance and just set up a defensive position so that they can just charge into that and it'll you know it should at least take some of their numbers down i mean that's that's just in theory it all depends on how your fleet is situated when it happens All right, so we're just waiting for the heavy cruiser to catch up, but you can see what we've got here going in. We've got uh, two missile destroyers, and then we've got um, one, two, three, four, five Titan destroyers, and one, two, three destroyers that I built, and a heavy cruiser. That's 11 super capital ships. 11. Man. And the heavy cruiser alone is worth probably like five of these destroyers. I mean, in terms of its fighting capacity. It's just astounding. Big question is, what would happen if I just charged right on in the Rejenkta style? Would I lose ships, or would I just blow them all away? Because they're all situated right about here. The enemy. Right, right here, actually. So you can see there's there's not a lot of distance to go. As soon as I get right about here, from here, they will spot me and cross this gap. And um, then it will be on. There's no stopping it. Oh, you know what? I can't actually build any more support frigates. <gasps> oh, no. Because I've got... <laughs> I'd have to lose over 16 frigates before I can build any other kinds of frigates. Yeah. 
because my max frigate count is 21 and I've got 37. <laughs> All right, the heavy cruiser has arrived to the party. And Ready. here's the mine layer. So I've got proximity sensor and mine layer, which I'm going to try and use together to figure out where to place those mines. Uh, I'm going to tell these salvage corvettes to actually hang back because I, I really don't actually need them. I kind of forgot that I don't need to have them in this fight at all. There's nothing worth capturing down there. It's all like small frigates and stuff. But we're ready. We're ready to, to rock and roll and, and end this mission right now. So we'll do that in the next episode. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.